Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and would you look at that? There's some Benjamins on the ground. Welcome back to BeamNG Drive. Today, we're out in the Firwood Savings Bank van, and I have to say, they are quite reinforced. Now, in retrospect, maybe choosing this wasn't the best idea, just because I haven't figured out how to use the gun yet. You can actually use it, but the mod doesn't seem to be working with my other mods installed. Regardless, this isn't about the van. This first mod is all about where are you going? Where? Stop. 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 God. As I was saying, this first mod is all about this. Now, it probably won't do much right now, but it will be... Where did it go? Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> As I was saying, though, this is magical money. That actually gives me an idea. If we reset this, I wonder what happens if I do a full burnout on this. Okay, yeah, it just totally destroys tires. In my testing before, it was a lot more disastrous than that, but I can't seem to get it to work. Regardless, that's not where this thing truly shines. So the modder actually added this because, well, they figured out something by total mistake. If we pause the game here and go into the editor, and then we put it on top of a vehicle like so and duplicate it, as you can see, I, I think... The stack is really combined with the first one for whatever reason. The second one is a much bigger stack. And what this essentially does is build a money bomb. So yeah, we're going to try this out, see how disastrous it is. Let's just slow it down here. And <laughs> there we go. This should be... <laughs> okay, that one wasn't too bad at all. It kind of has a mind of its own. I find if you play around with it, it could be way more disastrous than that. I kind of love that though. All right, let's try three stacks. There we go. <laughs> That's more like it. It must just be the bills compacted on top of each other. And then once physics hits the stack, it like freaks out because it kind of has a mind of its own. I've been trying for a while now and every now and then it doesn't work very well. Like, let's try again here. See if we get the same effect. Yeah, like that's what I'm used to. So. I kind of love it. I mean, you don't know what you're going to get. Let's try a few more, though, because, well, we need a bigger explosion than this. All right. Good luck, Savings Bank. You're going to freaking need it. Oh, my God. It ripped off the doors. Oh, I wonder if we could do that inside. There's enough room in here. I mean, you don't need much of a drop, as you saw. So if we put it inside, maybe just maybe we could explode it outwards. Oh, God. Why is it all weighted down already i'm actually kind of nervous right now anyways it is loaded up and now we just wait please work please <laughs> oh that's so fitting it's perfect it even caught on fire how beautiful is that dude that expanded out so much better than i expected to <laughs> Okay, now I'm just doing experiments because I'm curious to see if these can explode other ways as well besides just falling on top of each other. So we're going to do the most dangerous drive of my life. I have a crap load on the ground, as you can see. Hopefully this goes well. I think we're okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, let's open up the back. Dude, I feel like I'm in a freaking bank heist right now. This is the greatest. Why are they following me? Did you see that? Okay, this is always horrifying. Oh, God, don't open it. Okay, it was automatically open. I'm going to close that again. I actually, not much got affected. What I'm curious about is the ones on the outside tend to follow me. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, like, look, they're like floating with me. If I break, do they break? Oh, my God, that's so weird. How is this breaking physics as we know it? I can't believe I'm having so much fun with freaking $100 bills. I mean, to be fair, it's pretty easy to have fun with $100 bills. But I didn't expect to uh, have so much fun with it in this game. This is great. Let's go for a flip here. I doubt we're going to get more destruction, but I just love seeing bills just slowly fall out of this thing. Well, god damn, that is a lot of freaking bread. You're not supposed to be destroyed yet. You're ruining my joke. Hold on. So is that... <laughs> Oh my god! That was, that was the stupidest joke. I spent so long <laughs> setting that up. Oh, let's watch it again. I honestly didn't expect the bread to be so freaking heavy. It's got to be one of those special Italian breads. You broke the wheel already! Alright, here they come anyways. Oh my god. 
dude this is insane this this might be the best explosion in this game and we have freaking nukes in this game how is some hundred dollar bill so freaking destructive like i've never seen the gavel d this destroyed i don't even know what part of the car this is but it is totally ripped off i mean i guess the engine is still pretty much fully intact which is actually impressive all right, welcome to the funnest no man's zone you've ever freaking seen. We have 70 stacks of $100 bills. This might be the most expensive fake money episode ever. I don't know if this will be destructive or not. We did see that it destroyed the wheels, though, so it should at least do something. <gasps> Only one way to find out, though, and that's by going through it. <laughs> okay, come on, really? <laughs> I thought it would be way more destructive than that. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, one more thing. I wonder. Oh. Oh, I forgot to froze the game. Ah, this might be my best idea yet. <laughs> I'm going to rain money on these people, but they're not going to like it. You know what, Mr. Beast? You can totally have this idea from me if you make it deadly. That's, that's all I ask for. <laughs> okay. All right, goodbye, everybody. Oh, uh-oh, bills are already getting destroyed a little bit. Uh, I have to run this really slow because I, I have 170 things on the screen right now. But here we go. You all aboard for this? Oh, God. There's going to be little explosions everywhere. There you go, guys. Are you having fun? <laughs> there goes the ground explosions. You know what? That wasn't as disastrous as I thought. I mean, there's still some clear damage here. This guy's trying to grab some money right now with his face. Uh, <laughs> I was really hoping it would implode the sides a bit more. But you know what? That was very pleasing to watch. All right, let's see if that was sheer luck. I mean... That one seemed a bit more chaotic, that's for sure, considering there's a dude going to freaking space. His people clearly need him. Dude, this doesn't get old. I honestly thought this would be like a quick introduction mod. You know, maybe 30 seconds of content. I, I've been playing this for an hour and a half. Oh, hey, don't mind me. Just a totally normal mouse. Wait. Is that some cheese? Well, I don't have the brain capability to understand there's some serious danger here, so I... Uh... <laughs> so stupid. Oh my god. I am sorry, everybody, but yes, we have a giant mouse trap, a mouse car, and a cheese car as well. I... I guess I get the cheese? Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I mean, did we just get really lucky? Because, yeah, this thing bends right away. I got to put more weight on it, though. Dude, the rat trap is too big. <laughs> well, it won't be too big for this, though. Uh, yeah, this should be... <laughs> Wait, why is the roof okay? Oh, those poor couple of souls, though. Man, they got absolutely destroyed. I'm actually shocked it didn't go deeper into the bus, though. This thing's got a really well-reinforced roof. Or, I guess, floor, depending on what level you're on. Yeah, dude, this bus, it's too strong. Are you serious? I was so excited for this rat trap. Don't get me wrong. I still have a few good ideas, but I thought it would be a little more destructive. I gotta be honest. Okay, welcome to the rat race gauntlet. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping we can get some destruction this time because, well, oh my god. Oh, oh, <laughs> stop. <laughs> this is so not what I expected. So yeah, I think the strategy here is to either go slow enough to stay in the middle of the two beams oh my god that's more what i expected there we go but yeah you either gotta stay in the middle of the two beams by going slow or go so fast you beat the actual slap look at this look at this look at oh damn it i went too far to the right all right let's try something with a bit more speed because i actually want to try and outrun this that is beat the slaps that's a bad sign i'm using one of the faster vehicles in this game and yeah i don't I think we're going to beat it. We obviously we can get more of a runway. We might need that. All right, hitting it at about 200 should cover or jump a few of these. We did 
beat one. I don't know if you saw that. If you blinked, you probably would have missed it, but we actually outran one. Unfortunately, we're, we're getting air. We're going so fast now. All right, so what I'm going to do is double the size of this ramp up so we can lower the angle of what we need. That way, we shouldn't get air, so we can hopefully at least hit the first ones as well. All right, about 200 again. Let's just test it. Damn it. It is ripping off the back of this car we're gonna need to go like 300 at least okay 230 yes yeah <laughs> i almost what the hell i flew the thing is these things are actually like um pieces of thin metal so i i think i grabbed one and gained flight because of the uh wind turbulence all right come on 240 nice yes Unfortunately, the issue now is uh, when once I hit these things, they actually just jam into my car because I'm going so fast. I think we could say we technically outran it, though, if it wasn't for those giant pieces. Let's test something, shall we? We're just going to uh, reset that here. And I don't know if you can see, but... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. All right, it holds. Wait. Uh... <laughs> Did I just unintentionally build a trebuchet? Because I'm cool with that, too. Oh, my God. Look at how far this thing just got thrown. <laughs> okay, let's see if that was a fluke or not. Oh, my God, it works. Okay. Well, this is going to be impossible to aim. It is going pretty similar to last run. Because it made it to my incline here, and uh, maybe, just maybe we can actually land one? Okay, this is kind of like hillbilly curling now. Now, if it doesn't stick on, that's totally fine, because as you can see, we got four more over here. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. All right, and there she goes. Oh, this time it's looking real slow. Are you serious after I set it up? What the hell? What is going on? Is it, is it just that slow? I mean, it's going to slap down on it, so I'm totally fine with this. I, I wanted to shoot it. It shot twice in a row. And of course, the moment I set this up, it's the time it doesn't actually shoot and totally screws up. I'm so mad I can't seem to mimic this now. It was working so well. Look at it. It's so wobbly now. I've even tried changing the uh, cord length and just the placement of the ball and... Don't get me wrong, this is kind of what I wanted to do anyways, but now I'm so bummed I can't chuck it anymore. All right, I've had to have done this 20 times now. This is my last try. I can't believe I got a two in a row perfect first time. This is ooh, this is definitely the fastest. Please, yes! Why? Why is it so hard? Now I'm just praying we have the right trajectory. Oh, this is going to feel so good if we actually get a hit. I don't know. Is it going to be? I think we're good. I think, hold on, slow down. Is it going to go too far? Are you serious? No, you can't do this to me. It's illegal. This is this will be too crushing for me. I've spent 30 minutes trying to set this up. You're really just going to tippy-tap it with the chain, aren't you? Just to tease me. You're just teasing me with it. Seriously? Are you freaking serious? Okay, hold on. Maybe we'll wrap around. Maybe we'll grab and wrap around. Oh, I hate you. I mean, this is nice. This is nice, but it's not getting me what I truly wanted. It's ripping it right off, though. <laughs> God, I really wish I could easily replicate this. Now I have to try more. God damn it. Oh, it's looking good again. It's looking good. Oh, my God. It's so great when it works. I added two more trucks to hopefully catch that distance, but it's kind of got a mind of its own. So who knows if it's going to go as far this time. It's looking pretty good, though. Oh, my God. Is it going to do it? Please. Oh, I moved them up a bit, too. It might actually miss because of that. No, I think we're okay. I think. <gasps> yes! Rip them off! <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, I moved them to the right a bit, because if you remember, it hit the front of the truck. And uh, if I didn't move them, that would have been a freaking direct hit. All right, this one's looking a little lower. It might roll into them. I'm actually not against that, because this is still extremely heavy, and it's going to be going extremely fast. Fast. <laughs> oh, we went through two trucks, almost getting into the third. Oh, that just shows how 
much momentum is going on in this wrecking ball. <laughs> All right, we got another low flyer, or I guess ground ball at this point. It's looking like it's going to go to the front this time. Might be a little slower than last time. Oh, that's actually great. I was really hoping we hit the engine at least once, and uh, <laughs> that was perfect. All right, it's not been going well lately. Let's see if we can get lucky. This will be the last one, though. Looks to be another low flyer, but at least it's a flyer. Yeah, we might have to come back to this. This is really hard. It's got a mind of its own, but man, when you connect, that feeling is just amazing. All right, guys, and I think I'm going to wrap up this episode of BMNG Drive here. I hope you guys enjoyed the shenanigans once again. I want to thank you all for your continued support in my BMNG series. I know I've been doing a lot more lately just because I've been enjoying just trying to design things myself in this game. I really never did that before, but recently I've been doing it more and more. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any suggestions on what you would like to see as well, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, thanks so much for your support, guys. Thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.